This is the project. Welcome back. Uh, now, menopause is supposed to be the change of life for middle-aged women. But tonight, we reveal the silent epidemic being suffered by thousands of young Aussie women, some of them still in their teens. I love you, Aaron, and I bet Mars would do the exact same thing. Erin Jones loves her friend's kids like they're her own. She has no choice. I was 17 and I was in menopause and I had no eggs and no chance of a baby. There are girls as young as 13 that are going through menopause. My heart breaks for them. This is not rare. Sadly, it is far from rare. Menopause is meant for women in their 50s. They run out of eggs, their ovaries shut down. But more than 100,000 young Aussie women go through menopause in their 20s or even their teens. And in most cases, we have no idea why. Erin shares her sorrow with her fiancé, Charles. I was never aware this condition even existed. So I was a, bit, a little bit shocked at the start. And, but I thought about it for a bit and thought to myself, hang on a sec. Because I loved Erin and I knew that she was the one that I wanted to be with. Erin was a happy, healthy teenager. It was a normal puberty. I had normal periods. I didn't feel like I was any different from the other girls that I knew. Periods stopped for me when I was 17. And Erin's symptoms started. The hot flushes, the mood swings, the terrible, you know, night sweats. I was passed from one specialist to another, not knowing what was wrong with me. It was so painful not having an answer. Erin was infertile at just 17. That gut-wrenching crying where I cried to the point that I couldn't cry anymore. This feeling of loss, this loss of this child that I couldn't even see. I couldn't even see this baby. And this cruel condition strikes even younger women. Brittany Udalach was diagnosed in full menopause last year. She was only 16. Her chances of motherhood crushed. I planned on going to college, growing up, finding man of my dreams, getting married, having kids, and just having a great life, just like any young girl. I want children. Um, I've always wanted children. I always plan on having a little boy and some girls. Brittany was also a healthy teenager. During the summer, she started having hot flashes, and um, she was tired all the time, and her period was really irregular. And We were joking amongst ourselves that oh, it sounds like you're menopause. Her doctor confirmed the unthinkable. My mom came home crying and the first thing I thought of was did somebody die? Like she was bawling. I just gave her a hug and I told her that she'll never be able to have her own kids and we just both just cried. And I just kind of broke down and I just kind of lost myself. You know a teenager that is you know turning into a lady and having their little fantasies about their life and what they're going to do and, and you know and there's nothing you can do about it. Brittany has lost her future family and gained the devastating diseases of an elderly woman. When you don't have those hormones it can cause other cancers and it can cause osteoporosis and so we weren't just mourning the the loss of a potential grandchild. We were mourning, you know, all the problems that she was going to have throughout her entire life. From that point forward, it, her life forever changed. My heart goes out to that 16-year-old girl and to any teenager who is diagnosed with this condition to them and their families. Aisha Timmel was 29 when she had Hannah. She was a blessing in disguise and I look at her now and I think she's a miracle and she just brings me so much joy and happiness. As a healthy young mum, Aisha was worried when she started feeling telltale symptoms and went to her doctor. I explained to him that I was having hot flushes, night sweats. He laughed at me and said that was ridiculous because I was way too young to go through menopause. Aisha insisted on a blood test with shocking results. My mind started racing and I started saying to him, maybe there's been a mistake. Maybe my blood tests have been mixed up. Could we please test this again? I, I, it can't, this can't be happening. I want more children. Sadly, it was the end for Aisha's family. But for Erin, her sisters are giving her a precious chance. To get an egg from one of 
ear girls is so important because obviously for me it's the closest genetically I can get. Erin's ovaries are empty but with luck her uterus could still carry a child. And you know that we love you so much we're going to do whatever we have to do we're going to try as many times because we adore you. But for young women in menopause IVF holds slim hope. There are no guarantees with IVF. There's no guarantees we won't spend $100,000 on trying to get something. We may never get a baby. These are the journeys of just three women, but they tell the story of so many around the world, struck down silently on the brink of motherhood. It's a really tough one, as you were saying. It's not something you hear a lot about. I didn't realise that many women and that many teenagers are going through it. Yeah, it? it's known as premature ovarian failure, different from early menopause. But yeah, it is something that if you are worried about it, there are tests that can be done if it's in your family. Uh, all that, all that information is going to be on our website. There's also some details on there about some support groups. You can get to them through the project.